Holy cow, what a bleeping mess. You ever think you have a good soaping idea and you can't wait to try it and you try it? And it wasn't such a good idea. Want a good laugh? Continue watching. Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap. And as you can probably tell by the crock pot, we are doing hot process. I'm using another fragrance that misbehaves. I've used this before. This is not new to me. It's Mango Peach from Crafter's Choice, which I get from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It smells absolutely divine. The problem is it causes severe separation and cold process. I can deal with most levels of acceleration. I can deal with most levels of uh, rising. I can deal with most levels of browning. I can even work that into my design. A separation is one that I won't work with. I've had fragrance oils that separate. The only way to bring them back together is to hot process it. In that case, you lose all your design, all your colors mixed together, and it usually is not a very attractive color. So when I see severe separation, but it really smells good, it's hot process. So for our colors, I will not be adding any colors to the soap while it cooks. I'll be adding it afterward. I'm going to use up a sample of Taxi Cab from Mad Mike as they sent to me. That's probably not enough, so I'll finish it off with Nurture Soap's Yellow Vibrance. That's going to be the bulk of the color. I'm going to swirl in some orange marmalade from Nurture Soap. And then if I'm able to do piping on the top, can you type hot process? I've seen people do it. If I am able to, I'm going to use Nurture Soap's Raspberry Red for the top. Um, I sh even if I can't pipe it, I should be able to pile it on top and mold it on. We'll see. So that being said, let's get started making soap. I don't worry about temperatures with hot process. This is very hot oil. This is very hot lye in excess of 100 degrees. Does not matter. So yes, that's hot. That bottom of the container is very hot. So let's pour this scalding hot lye in very carefully. And let's bring this to emulsification. And I like my hot process extremely well blended because it's going to separate no matter what I do. So anyway, I'm going to blend this for a long, long time. I'm going to go ahead and shut us down and I'll bring us back when we're at our first stage. Okay, we're at the first stage. We are at applesauce. This is where everything separates. You probably can't see it, but there's oil floating on the top. This is where the soap has separated and it looks like applesauce. But the heat always brings it back together and in probably a little while, I'd say maybe 10 minutes or so, we'll be at mashed potato stage. And very shortly after that, we will be at gel and cooked stage. See you in a bit. Okay, this has been a bit of a strange batch. Now, granted, this is my cold rest, cold processed recipe, but that should not matter. Any soap recipe will work. But this skipped the, the mashed potato stage where it climbs and gets all fluffy and pops the lid off. It didn't do that. It has gone straight into gel. This is shiny, looks like Vaseline. This is soap. So I have pulled the plug. Now what I'm going to do now is completely optional. This is sodium lactate. You don't have to do this, but this helps make this soap a lot more fluid and will help it stay fluid longer. And it's one teaspoon per pound of soap. Put it into your cooked soap. So I'm going to put in three tips. So that's all right. A little extra won't hurt anything. And what this will do is loosen this up. It won't happen immediately. It's not an immediate process, but when it starts to cool, it will be a really, really fluid gelled soap. So just give that a good stir, and then I am going to go ahead and pull the crock out of the base so that this will start to cool. It's way too hot to do anything with. It's going to have to cool for quite a good while, but when it cools, that's when the fun begins. That's when we start coloring it, getting into the mold, so I'll see you in a bit. 
Okay, I'm pretty comfortable mixing this now. It's cooled down enough. So this is going to be the yellow. I have the mica mixed in the fragrance oil. Just give it a quick buzz. And all of this is going into this. This is all going to be the yellow. And it look how fluid that is. It takes a long time to stir this in. So I may speed this up. But... Just keep stirring, keep folding, keep turning it, keep mixing it, and your soap will take it. It's actually not taking as long as I thought. It's going pretty quickly. So there we have a nice yellow. Okay, let me set that aside. Now this is going to be the accent and our piping. So I need to scoop off some for our piping. Well, attempted piping. I hope for piping. My hope for piping. And then this is going to be our accent. So let me give this a buzz. This is the orange mixed in the fragrance. And let me give this a stir and mix this in. Let's get this into the mold and then we'll see what we can do with our piping. So what I'm going to do is just kind of alternate. And then take the hanger swirl, take the hanger tool and swirl it in. Now there's more yellow than there is orange so I'm going to put the majority of the yellow in. Kind of shake it around and then I'm going to plop some orange on top. Oops. Or down the side as it may be. Get some more yellow in. Let me tap this on the floor first. Get some more of the orange in. And let me tap this down some more. And I'll kind of plop that with the the spoon as well to help mash it down. Get any air pockets out of it. Now this is thicker than my regular hot process recipe where it's cooling down. The lard, I believe, is what keeps my hot process recipe a little more fluid. Now, let's attempt our hanger swirl. And because this is thick, I can do several passes. Much thicker than I was hoping. know how this is going to turn out. The last time I did this, it worked really, really nicely. So let's kind of mash that in some. And we just keep kind of smacking it with the spoon, which will help get it down into the mold, because this is much thicker than it normally is 
with my regular hot process recipe. Okay, now let's see what we're going to be able to do with our piping. So here is our raspberry red in the fragrance. Let's give it a good stir in and see what I can do with it. It's a pretty good consistency right now. So let's see if we can do this. That's what I'm also afraid of, because this is hot, I'm afraid the bag might melt and it might just shoot the tip off the end. I have never done this before, but I've seen people do it, and it feels about the right consistency. It's not wanting to stick. And I don't think rubbing alcohol will help, but let me try. I think it's probably going to break off. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to finish this. but I think it's probably going to break off the top. It's also burning my hands. It's also getting harder in the bag. This is not going well. Wow. This I'll put into something small and just have a sample bar for myself. This did not go as planned. So I do believe when I want to do a misbehaving fragrance, use hot process, I am going to use my regular slab mold because I have the best results with that. But, if I don't try, I don't know. So I will see you tomorrow for the cut. 
Okay, it's time to cut our hot process soap, and wow, did this one create some challenges. It does look like the piping did stick. I think it'll be okay. Uh, I don't think I got the swirls that I wanted because it set up too quickly. And I got to thinking, this is my cold process recipe, which will work, obviously, but my hot process recipe has more water in it. This is also a smaller batch, so it cooled down quicker which I think created the problem. So lesson learned, well, it's okay to try new things, but I don't think I'll be doing piping anymore on hot process. Stick with what I know in this instance. And I can usually make some pretty decent hot process in my slab mold with my hot process recipe that sets up slower because it has more water. So let's see what we have. I don't think I'm gonna have the swirls that I wanted because it was pretty stiff. Well, I got more than I thought, and that's the end piece. And the pipe, oh no, look, look, piping's not gonna stick. And that's okay, because I'll trim that up, and I'll use this piping for embeds and hot process. I was a little afraid of that. Looks better than I expected. It, but that's gonna come off. I'm just gonna go ahead and take those off and trim the top. So next time I do hot process, I'll have a lot of embeds to put in it. So those won't go to waste. I'm not too concerned. So it's gonna look better than I thought. So definitely not my best, but it's not my worst either. So anyway, folks, that's what I have for this week. And thanks for watching, and I will see you next week for some more cold process soap. Bye, everybody.